Hello everyone, and for me it is dusting day, and I think I've made a decision. Although I love my Mario display, it takes up way too much space. I, I have problems with the Mario theme. I mean, I, I'm filming this part the day after the new sets were revealed, and although I like them, I mean, it's just, at least for now, it's going to be hard to keep the, it like this. My ideal goal would be to have, like, a shelf of, like, a bunch of different layers, so, like, one is a just default, and then a lava, and then a desert, and just a bunch of different, um, like, horses with different pipes and, and points, and just different challenges. But until then, I need to do some with this, and I don't think I just want to put it in a, all the parts in a bag. So, what I have decided to do is make a mock out of this for the time being. I want to make... A new way for me to display my Mario. So, how I would do it. First, take it all off, dust it. That's basic, but keep it in instruction. Then after that, I decide what I what parts are necessary to keep. Now, like, here, it'd probably be necessary to keep this guy built if I want to have the character. Another, I'd probably need to keep the desert pokey thing. But for this, I wouldn't need to keep it. I can just put that part somewhere else. Or for the that I can um for the bazooka builds I think or what whatever I I don't need to keep that intact I don't need to keep this intact so I just figure out what needs to be kept intact and what doesn't put them into two piles and then just start building and see what happens so I'm going to take this all apart dust it and then I'll be back so I have just spent a good two two and a half hours and it is all t dusted destroyed and sorted um I actually use a different method than I normally use if you remember my sorting video if you watched that um I u normally use the color sorting method where it's based on color but for my needs, I've used the other one I mentioned, where it's by parts. So back there, you got modified circular plates, just bricks, curved slopes, nature, technic, curved bricks, angled bricks, modified stuff, arches, tiles, plates, enemies, and then this, a tower of the connector plates. Can't even get in one shot. Yeah. That's for scale. Um, so I'm not sure how long it will take for me to do this. I, it might not work on it tomorrow or the day after that or today. So we'll see how long it takes me to go along to um, building it. But when I do, I will let you know. After about a month of many different projects... Uh, I'd say it's time to pick this up. Um, I've been very busy with other projects like the Brickies, April Fool's video, but yeah, it's finally time. So I had this right there um, since the video was made, so I got to tear that apart, so I'll do that. But yeah, it's time to fulfill the prophecy. Here are all my parts in the box. Um, so... What is my plan? My plan is to make it kind of a mountain, a circular one. Uh, you have a base, and then you kind of have it in quadrants where each one is a different biome. I'd like to have a path kind of wrapping around. I'd like the pipe to be at the bottom, in the front, maybe in the corner. Uh, if so, the left, I don't know why, but I don't, I'd imagine it there. And then you need to work your way around and go through, and there's different paths to get to the top where the end is. Now this won't be like Lego Mario Sim where you can just change it off and like move things around, but I do think that'll still work. So I'm gonna work on the foundation and see you in a bit. After a little bit, I got the base done. Uh, it's not much to look at. About the size I wanted, it's not an exact circle. It's more of like um, a, a diamond, but I'd say that's fine. I think next update will be when the rest of it's on top, just because I'm running out of plates, so that means I'm going to need to start using bricks. So you won't really have another part where it's like 
just one thing so it's going to be a bit more um, layered and mess around with shapes so once I have the mound done I'll let you know and uh, see you then so I have finished the structure of the island now you start here and then I have these um, brick pieces going around kind of guided so you go here here then here up here and then finally to the top um it's not perfect it's not the most stable but i only have i don't have any more of these circular pieces i have like two or three more tiles so from what i have or two or three more plates what i have is fine next i'll start putting in the structures i want and enemies and then detailing and yeah see you then so it is the next day and after a lot of very difficult annoying and challenging hours we've got the base done well not the base but like it decorated so as you remember you start over there there's a goomba you walk around there's the sign the shy guy and fly guy ba ba bomb uh bowser here and then a power block just because i don't know what to do with it mushroom that's where you go next uh here is chain chomp there's a little lever back there to try to hit him out um the like ball rat thing um question block and then goomba but you can go around so then you have monty mole so then you can go over to the hitty thing which is connected to the um bullet boys um so you can have Mario there, and depending on how I get it, it's it, it kind of works. So then you have Lava Bubble, um, uh, the Fire Beetle, uh, Buzzy Beetle maybe. Um, you have him, which you can knock off. Have a four Thwomp. You can have this Hitty. Um, so kind of like how this is, and then you've got Womp over the P-Block, and then more bubbles, and then you go up to the flag. So, when I'm filming over here, which, which is where I normally build, is because I'm scared to move it. it these side parts are very unstable, so now I'm going to decorate it, get it to the final, and then I'll give you a playthrough and my final opinion. So, yeah, see you then. We are done, and... It, it's a mess. Uh, you can't play through it. I tried doing that. Uh, only got halfway through. Um, even so, it's very unsturdy. Like, you walk by, boom, that falls off, and this. And Also, um, as compared to my Mustafar mock, I can't stabilize it as much because I don't have as many of these island things. I don't have as many plates. So, it, it is constricting. Also, I just... Even when I had it on a table, it was at a point where to defeat everything, to play every trap, you can finish it, so you need to skip things. Now, I personally like how it looks, so I'll lift you up to kind of show you from above. Uh, so, this is how you play it. You start there, get on the Goomba, go around. That's a bramble. I remember that. Over here here and then up to the top so i like how it looks it, it doesn't play very well though um it isn't that sturdy to move it you're gonna need to take off this 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 so this is the last you'll see of this now i think i might try this again maybe something else in the future i liked working on it i have a lot of extra pieces um, I'd say that's about 200, maybe 150, uh, so, um, I, I like doing these, um, build modification things, I had a, used to have a series where I take a set, change it, I did that here on a steroids, I had one with the land speeder, I'm proud because I did not use any extra pieces on this one, like that one, it's completely what we had, so, no. No, I'm wrong. I did use two pieces, and that's just to connect the Thwomp set. I took, I 
gray 2x6 and a gray 2x4 from the Navarro mock I did just down there. Um, so, I think that it has a lot to be improved on, but I'd say for what I have, I did pretty good. So, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more of these series on other sets, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, goodbye.